Hey everybody, this is Felicia and I am here today with a video of my scrap room. Hopefully it won't take too long and I might have to divide it up into two parts. But this is my scrap room. This is where I sit at. That's my table and everything. So this is the whole thing on the inside. So now I'm walking in. There's my expedite right there. And then here's my cubes and everything. So we're going to start at the beginning. So for a more detailed look into what I have and to what I got. And so we're going to take it from there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start here at my expedite. And I'm going to start on in this area here in the whole entire expedite here. So what I have here is I have all of my binders here. This is my Weekend of Life binder, the Ally Edwards. And I have the Weekend of Life from the year before. And I have the Weekend of Life binder from the year before that. And then what I also have is my... Um, um, I think this one is my, yeah, this one is my actually one little word binder, and this is my Week in a Life binder. So these are the binders that I have here in this area. So, and then I also have, um, this is from Kiki K. Can you see that? Yep. Kiki K. And this is um, a paper lover's book. Okay. And so that's what that is. And so now we're going to move forward here and we're going to go over to my um, card stock. So I have all the card stock here. This is all Basil card stack, stock and American Crafts card stock and a few other brands of card stock that are here in this area. But I use these, um, these nice little plastic things and I just what I did with these, I turned them on the side. So this is all of my card stock here. This is not all what I have as far as card stock is concerned. But this is all of my card stock here. So now we're going to move over here to um, some of my paper pads and my uh, pattern paper. I have a lot of pattern paper. So this is all my pattern. Um, sorry about that. Once again, this is all of my pattern paper. So I have here Studio Calico here in this section here. And then I have some My Mind's Eye. I mean, really pretty old stuff. I have some basic gray. And I have some um, American Crafts cardstock, and I have some miscellaneous. In other words, there's a few of other manufacturers that I have in here, and then I also have some um, um, October Afternoon. And then right here is my watercolor paper pad. It's pretty big, though. This is where I have my watercolor paper pad. So I put all my paper pads here. So that's what I have right there. And then here I have two paper pads. These two paper pads, one is a Jen Hadfield and one is um, from the paper studio called Be Bold, Be Bright. And it's got a lot of bright papers in it, all gold foiled. Every last one of them is gold foiled. And I really like that, but they're all different colors. So that is cool. This baby stays right up here with all the other paper pads. Now we're going to move a little further over here in the corner here. And in this corner, I have all paper pads. So I think that I don't need any more paper pads. I even have a 8.5 by 11 of the Be Bold, Be Bright. <laughs> I also have a 6 by 6 too. So um, I don't know. I just thought when they had their paper sale at Hobby Lobby, I decided to go ahead and get all of those. So these are all my paper pads from um, Burlap to... I mean, retro ones, I mean, really old kind of die cuts with a view, and to all the cork ones and the most current one, 12 by 12 by We Are Memory Keepers. So this is where I put all my paper pads. And this little baggie right here is where I keep my extra chipboard. I bought chipboard from Amazon years ago, and I'm just now getting low on it because I also do many albums too, which I haven't had a chance to share with you guys. So now we're going to come over here down to the bottom shelf here. This is in so much detail here. And these binders here are different binders. Now this one has all some of my 12 by 12 layouts in it. This one has my 8.5 by 11 8 Allie Edwards story stamps uh, layouts in it. This is where I keep those. And then this is a project that I'm working on. This album here um, has about three of the older older albums and I put all the photos took them out of there and put them in there and I'm working on this one right now currently and I'm using um, my typewriter to do that with 
this one is Project Life, of course, and this is volume, I think volume two of 2015. So I'm not quite finished with that one just yet. Now the next row over, these are all page protectors. Um, I have all kinds of page protectors. I have a bunch of page protectors here in this binder here. And then I have page protectors, regular page protectors, eight and a half by 11. And I have some more Project Life different styles of page protectors here. I have some basically 12 by 12 page protectors for my layouts from your memory keepers. And then in this little container right here, I have all kinds of different sizes of, wow, of page protectors here from, a lot of them are from Simple Stories. Some of them are from um, Becky Higgins when she started making the little albums. So we have some of those. I uh, have a lot in here. So there's a lot and it's kind of stuff. So I don't want to put any more in here. Okay, so now we're going to move over here to the next section here of the Expedite. I call it an Expedite because that's what it was called when I first bought it. So sorry if for those of you I'm not calling it a Calyx. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to talk about here the rest of my paper pads here that I have. I have some old and some new mixed in here. Um, I definitely got my white cardstock from American Crabs and all this cardstock here is from American Crabs. And the reason why I got so many of these is because when they had when I went to Scrapbook Expo, they had them for ten dollars, and so that was I mean I couldn't believe it. I don't know why. And then the guy gave me um, one extra one for free because I had bought so many of them. He said, "Here, don't you have this extra one? Pick out another one." And so I did. So that's how I ended up with all of these American Crafts um, cardstocks, and there's sixty in each one of these. So. Okay, so I'm going to pull out this basket because this basket here is um, something that is full of nothing but complete embellishments. I mean, these, a lot of this is old. Like I got a lot of older Amy Tan stuff, like cloth stickers. I have some Snap stuff, some Dear Lizzie stuff. I have a bunch of stuff here in this basket that I still have yet to really go through. A lot of it is very old. I've had um, some of this stuff in here for a long, long time. I have some, um, oh my gosh, these are some chipboards from, um, let's see if I remember, I think it was My Mind's Eye. No, 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 no. Um, Bo Bunny, that's what this is from. And that was so long ago. So I have a lot of stuff in here. You can see from Studio Calico and stuff like that. And this is just embellishments upon embellishments upon embellishments. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Some of it's not too old like this. I got this like six months ago. But, you know, a lot of this stuff has been in here for a little while. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back here. If you, These are current Project Life album I'm working on, this black one right here. And then this one is 2015 Volume 1. And then this one here is my 2000 and 2012 one little word 2011 2012 one little word this is my 2013 14 and 15 one little word so they're all three in this one binder so i've been doing one little word since 2011. i have a smash book and then i have my art journal down here so now we're going to move over it gets a little bit <laughs> once again this is where I have all of my freckled fawn stuff, my embellishments, all of these things. I had to break down the kits. I wasn't using them enough, so the little plastic bags were piling up on me. So I got this little organizer thingy here from Ikea, and this is called a, um, I'll get the name. <laughs> I forgot what it was called, but um, that's what that's on. And then I have my watercolor paints here underneath there because it's the only place where I can store it, so I just keep them under there. And then um, this is my keyboard for my Apple. And let's move over here to the next shelf, if you can see that. Um, this is where all my card making stuff is. This is 80 pound plus card stock. This is for cards and cards only. And sometimes I occasionally take them out to do printing of some labels because I like my labels to be pretty thick. 
And this is all card stuff. This is 120 pound card stock, so this is the real deal right here. Um, I usually don't use that unless I'm giving this to someone who I don't know, making them a card. That way it just really solidifies it. But I have more card making stuff here. I have some Hero Arts card stock in here. Um, I have a lot of stuff in here. Lots and lots of stuff. And a lot of older stuff too. Um, some of these older acetates and things like that that I have forever. Um, I'm going to start using them though because I really like them. So. And then we're going to come down here. I didn't go to the fourth hole because my thickers are blocking it and we'll talk about that later. And so then we're going to go to the lower part of the shelf here. And here down, down on this shelf I have my jewelry making kit, my palette knives, um, I don't know why those are in here, they're empty. This one has my caps for my making my own brads. I have a brad making tool for that. I have all of my embossing powders in here, my tray, and then I have my big gigantic uh, crocodile here, the big orange one. It has its own case. And then this one I have my So Easy here. This is my So Easy with all the heads. They're all over the place. They never stay put, so I gave up. <laughs> I just kept them like that. So that's what I have in that basket here. And then in this basket right here, I have a bag full of buttons still in their packaging. I never really got those out of there. I have a bag full of buttons, period. No packaging at all. And then I also have, I'll tell you what that is in a minute, more buttons here in this container. I have more buttons than I really care to really want to have. And I have a thing full of ribbons and things like that. And that's not all my ribbons, of course. You've seen my ribbons. And then I also have this little, um, this is from So Easy. This is where... And I haven't really used this that much, but it's kind of where you put the you put them on your paper, and then you take these little blade things, and you cut into it, and you you thread the ribbon through it. So this is what it's supposed to look like when you're done. I have different designs, and so this is what it's supposed to look like. But I haven't tried it yet, really. I just kept those. Is where I have all of my punches. That thing is heavy, so that's why it's on the bottom shelf. I have two baskets full of punches and these are all kinds of punches some of these punches are so old I even have the very first punch that I got when I first started scrapbooking in here that's how old some of this stuff is I mean it's been around and for those of you who know already I'm gonna move this out the way we'll explain what that is later you don't need to see that right now <laughs> but I have another thing over here for my bigger punches so I have a lot of punches and um, this has been over the years. I didn't accumulate this stuff overnight. I mean, I have this. This is older. And I have this one. This one's a Marvy punch, and this is a big circle oval one, I should say. And I've had some of this stuff in here for, for a long, long time. And you can tell how long I've had it, because this one doesn't even have its handle anymore. And this is an old um, Fiskars circle punch. When you had them like that, so that's that. So that is what's on the bottom shelf here of this Expedite. And then the last basket on this Expedite, I'll pull that out, has my Fun Foam, the Glitter Fun Foam, the regular plain uh, Fun Foam. This is all adhesive. All of this is adhesive. So um, this is where I keep my Fun Foam. And some memorabilia is on here. And my bigger sheets of Fun Foam that I have these for ever I got these from the dollar store and I've had them for a long long time and then another project that I have in finished is supposed to be um, an album of your of you of me or whatever <laughs> but anyway so that I didn't get a chance to finish this up because I was told told myself I wasn't gonna do this but this is where I have my six by six pads this is just a small amount of what six by six pads this one right here has all the rest of my six by six pads. Okay, and I have more, but I'm not gonna put them out there because they're with they're in collections and stuff. And then here is where I have my dies. These are all my metal dies. Got some smaller packages of metal dies here. 
You can see we have some Technique Tuesday, Spellbinders, Memory Box, My Favorite Things. A lot of dies in there. And then here are my Allie Edwards Story Stamp Kit um, stamps. I have a huge collection of stamps. Okay. And then we have another, and these are all miscellaneous stamps. But I got this organization idea from Jennifer McGuire. So this is where I keep all of my other stamps. Um, Technique Tuesday, Scraptastic, that's where I keep those. And then I have a, a big one that doesn't fit in there, so he's between there. It's from Allie Edwards. And then I have more stamp sets from Technique Tuesday, Tim Holtz, Illusions, Long Thawne, My Favorite Things. I mean, Hero Arts, I have a lot. And a lot of these are really old, especially these right here. I've had them forever. These are more like the background rubber clean um, stamps there. And then I have some more stamps. <laughs> this is from Simon Says Stamps when I used to be in the, the Get the Card kit. I don't do that anymore. And some more Studio Calico and some shorter ones in here. These are the short stamps there. And then the last one also has stamps, but most of these stamps are Studio Calico. Um, we got other stamp sets and stamps. Lots of stamps, you guys. Lots and lots of stamps. That is a large stamp collection, but that's how I organize and store my stamps. Okay, so I'm not sure what happened to... I'm on the next section here, but I had some footage here of this, and I decided that it wasn't good, and it wasn't going to work out good. So I'm going to speak a little bit faster here. And we're on this Alex set here, and then next to it is a little beauty that I got there from Michaels. So we're going to go over here, and let's see. Oh, top, yes. The top I have some Allie Edwards stamp kits. Um, leftovers from those that I've broken down and some of these 4 by 6 cards that come in it. And then this right here is the Allie Edwards One Little Word kit uh, that she sold in 2014. That was the first kit for the One Little Word. So, But these are all the 4 by 6 cards here. And these are all the goodies here that, um, that comes inside of the uh, Story Stamp kits. And then some. And I got these little bamboo things here that you see. Both of those. I got these from Ikea as well, and this is a, a storage idea that Allie had on her um, one of her videos, I think it was, or her blog, I can't remember. So we're going to start with this one, and so in the top drawer here, I'm going to pull it out, we have some um, acrylic blocks that have all kinds of sizes here, including the two different sizes with the feet on it. I have those, and that's here. Different sizes, yeah. And then in this drawer here is all of my planner stuff. I have that as well. And I had to have a place to put all of this stuff. It was getting out of control and out of control quick. <laughs> and then in this drawer here, I have my wax paper, um, my paper piercing pad, another paper piercing pad, and then uh, some of my, um, I forget what this is called. Oh. I'm sorry, it's called Eclipse Tape, and it's kind of like a, a tape that you put over when you're trying to mask things off, so it's kind of like a masking tape thing there. And then in this drawer here, which we'll get a little bit closer, is my, uh, I have all kinds of uh, little mini albums, and I'm still, I'm still behind on getting these done, so um, I'm probably going to do a special project with that, so I'll keep, I'll keep you in mind with that or keep you informed. Sorry guys. <laughs> okay, let me get down here and then a little bit here. We have alphas. Now these alphas are not thickers. These are all alphas that I, these are not thicker alphas. So these are like anywhere from huge thicker ones to um, the, these heavy cardstock kind, these wood chips, I mean wood veneer. <laughs> Um, the chips, <laughs> uh, chipboard here. These are from an old Studio Calico set here. And then I have more chipboard down in here somewhere. There's some here and different things. So these are all alphas that are not thickers. So this is where I keep those at. And then in the next drawer here, I have all of my sprays. Okay. 
And then I have also some embossing paste here. Oops. I'm going to make everything fall over here now. Anyways, <laughs> I have my cheesecloth here. And then back here, I have some little spray bottles, uh, mini misters, so that I can mix and match. As you can see, I've been doing that, some colors of my own. And then these jars are, let's see, these are more texture paste. This is um, like a medium and more texture paste. That's the pearl one. Boy, that's beautiful, by the way. And then some more blue seal medium. So, And these are also mediums, too. These are from EK Success. They used to have these all the time at Target, and then um, they don't sell them anymore. Not at Target. Okay, so now it's time for me to go down here to the next drawer, and this is where I have all my paints, acrylic paints and other paints and paints and paints. And I have some more cheesecloth down here. Not sure why it's in a different spot, but these are where I have all of my, my good paints and things like that, so you can see that. And then in the last drawer here is um, some cutters, the small cutters. I have my Creative Memories cutters. I have my Fiskars, uh, not my Titanic Studio cutter. And these are for traveling mainly. And I also have my travel uh, scoreboard and another travel color cutter. And a box maker from the... Uh, I guess we are memory keepers, and I also have an envelope maker and all that stuff. So we'll just go ahead and put that back. Okay, so that's what's in the tall Alex drawers here. So now we're going to move over here to this one here. This is my baby. Um, I got this from Michaels. That's the top. Sorry about all the movement there. That's the top, and on the top I just have some products that need to be put away. New products, and then I have a project that I'm still not finished with, so I just left it there. And then, oh, you're not supposed to see this. This is a surprise. <laughs> and then um, there, uh, right here is I have my labels and all my tags. This is where my tags go so that I can keep track of them. Also, I have tags nowhere else but here. Okay. So that's that. And then we're going to move down. Sorry about that little crack there. I, I just got this and on my way home. I don't know if you can see that little crack there, but right there, I just got it, and um, someone was driving really crazy in front of me, and I had to jam on my brakes um, because they decided to do a U-turn, where you're not supposed to do a U-turn. Uh, don't ask me why people do that. I don't understand that, but anyway, so when it happens, uh, this slammed up against the back of my car and kind of did a crack, but it's okay. All right, so I'm going to show you what's in these really quickly. This one's empty. Um, this one has all of my Allie Edwards stuff in it, my kits and stuff that I ordered from her, like One Little Word, uh, um, A Day in the Life, and stuff like that. This is where my design team stuff is. This is where I keep it. This is all nice and organized. And the felts and the hearts, uh, felty hearts and some cork and things like that. And then some of my dazzlers. This is all my design team stuff. And then in this drawer right here, I have trim, uh, lots of it. I have more than that, but I just haven't put it in here yet. And then and this one's empty, that one's empty, and then that one's got photos in it. And then there's photos in the bottom one, so you need to see that one. And then, so now we're going to go over here to the, um, oh yeah, for the infamous bookshelf here. So one of those ladder kinds. And then I'll show you what I got on each one of those. Thank you.